We are calling to all people, all races, all religious beliefs, to join us on the day of this alignment, a day that will allow us to connect to higher frequencies and higher levels of consciousness, manifesting unity, healing, and love for all beings. On this day, a prophesied celestial alignment of planets will hang in the sky directly above seven sacred sites that ancient druids assigned to each planet. This has never happened before. The Knights Templar knew the sacredness of these sites, built their cathedrals upon them, and followed a path pursuing enlightenment, leaving behind encoded messages within each cathedral. Messages that reveal how all of humanity can attain enlightenment, as well as other energetic gifts that will change the course of life as we know it. We will take our team through the journey of the Templars to these sites for ceremonial prayer and healing for all. We ask that you join us in this prayer with intention and love to heal our earth and all of humanity. The exact alignment is predicted to start the flow of energy between the seven sites creating a portal and we will be there. If this feels like your purpose and something you must be a part of, let us know. I think it's something really exceptional. The link between the spirituality and the physics and the history. What is frequency? Why is it affecting us? We're doing a lot of research on this and uh, we're working with uh, geobiologist Rory Duff. And now we're finding out that the planet's actually helping us. The stars and the planets are helping us. So we have all, of, and the Templars. This alignment of cathedrals that were Templar cathedrals that are tied to the chakras of the body. And what Jill and I have been working on for a long time is this energetic healing of the planet. And it's about sound. Each chapel or cathedral has its own resonance to get there, has its own frequency. They all have a holy grail within them and it's not an object that we can hold, but it is a frequency that we can tap into. And we're also finding out that we can play a part in affecting those frequencies and, and how they're affecting us. And so that we can heal ourselves, we can heal these energy systems around the planet, we can heal each other, we can raise the consciousness. This movement for peace that Jill and I have been working on for, for three years, this will be the third time that we'll be celebrating the feast day of Mary Magdalene in this time in France and bringing people all over the world together in prayer and meditation, the possibility of making great change on the planet. So it's an adventure. It's a date that's coming up that's been prophesied and perhaps even tied to some information about revelations. The thing is we need some sponsors. We need people who know that, that they are supposed to be with us or at these locations on this significant cosmic event.